I see women being assholes to me in my life. Well, I don't see them, but sometimes they just are. And I know not all women are bad as the world wants me to think. Okay, I'm not misogynist, okay? Don't cancel me. But why am I talking about women being an asshole? I'm not an incel, okay? I, I'm not an incel. I, I don't do incel stuff. I mean, I know not all women are bad. Besides, I'm actually friends with women. But I'd rather not do sexual things. Ew. To, to all you simps. But anyways, so we're gonna talk about this woman. Who is an animator who goes by Squizzy. Or we're gonna call her Hyogen. And, and Hyogen, three years ago, accused a YouTuber called Slazo of, I guess, being abusive. And I don't really know, because I'm not, I'm not really doing research on this. But also, plus that, um, I, I, uh, I'm stuttering on my words. Okay, what I'm trying to say is, uh, also in the same year of 2019, they had an NSFW account, which is like, I guess, owned by the FBI on Twitter, and I don't, I'm, I'm, so, I'm actually afraid to screenshot it, but it's called, no, actually, I'm not going to direct you to it, there's no, nothing NSFW anymore, there's no, um, sexual images anymore, and Hyogen, you know, is being accused of abuse. Which, you know, I hate abuse. I HATE abuse so much. God, it makes me so angry. Abuse? I mean, when people get abused, I, I, it makes me want to do bad things. But not bad things sexually. Just go violent and become barbaric towards the abuser. I mean, I don't want to go harm anyone. But, speaking of that, I'm going to be talking about Hyogen. Yeah, let's roll on the intro. Oh! Oh god! Who put this here? How dare you put this here? So her, so her ex, who is actually a YouTuber, Punk Duck, um, released a document, and by the way, I turned this into negative because it was actually hurting my eyes. So yeah, if Punk Duck sees this. I'm sorry if I had to turn into negative. I should have asked first. Should have done that first, but I just felt like it's not really the right thing I've done. But I should have asked. So yeah, I'm gonna read this. Too long didn't read. My ex-partner Hyojin was abusive to me, both emotionally and physically, from 2019 to the back half of 2021. They berated me, put me down, and assaulted me. The worst is on which on page 22. I mean, 2, sorry. Evidence of it is leaked at the end. For two and a half years, I was ex trapped in an extremely abusive relationship with Hyojin that I could both accept, or, I mean, I mean, escape or could not tell anybody about. Okay, that is very abusive of Hyojin to do that. I'm writing this now because I constantly see my ex popping up in my feed thanks to the wonderful Twitter and YouTube algorithm. Not to mention people reposting the content. It really sucks seeing the person or your ex on your feed thanks to their algorithm. I actually don't know what to say about it. Not to mention, yeah. I fought it off to Hyojin directly, and while the apology they sent was nice and all, the trauma they given me is well and truly for life. I initially planned to keep this private, but I reached a boiling point of how much I'm willing to lie to protect their image, but both to my friends and family. So it's about time I got this off of my chest. <sighs> Sad. Sad but true. <sighs> Where do I even begin? We'd, when we started dating, it was fine. Great even. For a while, the first six months were mostly fine. Occasionally, they would do the classic redirect your anger, f your feeling from unrelated issues to your partner. And berate me. When I kept prom but I kept being promised it would stop, and I believed it. <sighs> they were, however, constantly materialistic at... At the cost of my own feelings. Constant arguments over what I wear, what I buy, and what I do on nights out. 
were in order because anything they would do would be a status thing and they wanted me to act the same way so I wouldn't embarrass them. Okay, about the uh, wanted me to act the same way. Yes, yeah, somebody wanted me to do that before and to be friends with them, but I don't want to be friends with them before and I'm not really friends with them right now. What a confusing mess to say this. Alright, any time arguments would happen, they would uh, would always be at my fault in one or two ways. Either I actually f***ed up or it was a problem they would cause. I would try to approach them and tell them how they hurt me and I wanted to talk about it. And it would eventually turn into emotional manipulations and accusations of You're just doing this to make me feel stupid. F***ing leave then. I would end up apologizing and nothing would be resolved. Whatever I had brought up to them would just be added to a growing list of repeating behavior. Um, okay. Is this is... I don't know what this woman has been through, but, but we're gonna find out later. But why is she being like this? She shouldn't really be like this to like people. But I mean, I mean, why would she emotionally manipulate people? It's so disgusting. I don't like manipulators. I mean, I mean, we can all be good manipulators, but a bad liar is a very terrible liar. But when it's someone's a good manipulator. I look, I just don't know how to say about this. I don't know what to say. Back to the thing. The main thing I would bring up to them was their anger redirection, which culminated around March 2020, two years ago. Sorry, a lot of things I bring up will be out of order. They came visit to me a couple of days before COVID started. Bad timing, after it did. We soon realized that they had to go back to Australia before flights ran out. It was a very stressful time for everybody involved, but... It certainly did not help that whenever my parents weren't in the room, I was an emotionally, emotional punching bag. Like, all of it was my fault, and any help I suggested would be responded into screams. Dang, this woman has anger issues. I mean, I know I get angry, too. I mean, sometimes I do this, but I... I, I, I uh, I'm sorry, because I'm trying to say, at least I don't, like, harm people, like... Eventually, yeah, I mean, I, 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 should, I mean, I do get angry at my friends, but I'm just gonna try not to get angry at my friends, which I haven't been doing that lately. Where are we? Okay, at one point, they screamed to me that I was f***ing useless. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, that's just wrong right there. That's just wrong. It forced me out of my own room so they can stream to raise money for the ticket. And after that, I obeyed their orders and made them generally streamed. When they come downstairs, I apologize to them. Even worse, my mom caught wind of how much they were screaming at me and was getting increasingly worried for them. My mother wasn't aware that Hyojin just had just finished a, f a fundraising stream or Hy Hyojin was f***ing loaded. Yo, yo! I keep saying yo, yo! Because eh, it's just so surprising. Or themes I'm thinking of, eh. Thinking that there's some starving college kid, she offered to pay for the impromptu flight from Europe to Australia in full. Yojin immediately accepted. I felt gross. Ew. They'd only ended up paying my mother back exactly. Okay, um, I have no idea what to actually say about this. Besides, Yojin is just a nasty and disgusting person. And something you, it's a monster if we shouldn't all be about. Yeah. I mean, I'm saying random things because I don't know what to say about this. I mean, I, I should, I mean, I mean, I mean, no, whatever. <sighs> One year later, with me constantly reminding them for months, and promptly tickets to Australia are not cheap, turns out. A key, yeah, I might censor the F bombs, I said. I visited them for emergency reasons back in the summer of 2019 and still got yelled at because I had a migraine from how hot it was at one point and asked if we can go home early so I can rest. They screamed at me saying I was I ruined their night and they didn't allow me to sleep in the bed that night. I was promised things would get better. What a liar. What a liar she is. Why would you do this to your own boyfriend? Or your own partner. Why would you be so abusive? So disgusting.
ill. What really made things spiral out of control was New Year's 2022. I mean, 2020. Sorry. Yeah. I flew down to Australia for a couple weeks to be with Hyojin and their family. On New Year's itself, we bought a tent and planned to be in a park to watch the fireworks. It was fun, so they once called me f***ing useless and yelled at me, cause I was struggling to to figure out how to build the tent while they sat there and did nothing. Must have seen in the mirror of the crowded park it was fun. At that point, shit was bouncing off on me. Okay, I actually feel bad for Punk Duck. Like, I mean, the one of the things he does is like so messed up. It's so disgusting. It's so messed up. I'm not. I mean, I might add a teeny tiny bit of humor. It just really depends how bad it is. So yeah, let's read the other one. A couple of days after January 23rd, no, sorry, I keep getting the dates mixed up because I'm editing while I'm recording. After a couple of days on January 3rd, 2020, my partner had received early press copy of a game and as we're installing it. Turns out getting early copies on Steam is a ball ache. Yo, never mind, but news was could figure it out. The news all stuff happened. Yelling, blaming me, etc. Telling me to fuck off. So I just sat on the bed on the verge of tears. <sighs> so messed up, man. So weird. I mean, imagine making someone on the verge of tears. So, yeah, I keep saying it's disgusting because it really is. I'm just... Yeah. Abuse is bad. Alright, they proceed to go in the same room I'm in. Get on the Discord voice chat with their friends and start chatting like nothing is going on. I lie there in pure disbelief and I muster up to the courage to ask, Are you actually doing this? B bad idea, very bad idea. He and Devin's a con and I tell them that what they did is effed up. And they hit me hard. Hard so hard in fact my head b bounces off the wall. We just stand there motionless. Without saying a word, <laughs> I ask, "What the f did you do?" They started. They start crying and somehow into a guest room in their house. This is the first moment I realized I was in an abusive relationship. For a year, it was emotional, and now it was physical. So what I did was regional. So what I did is most regional people do. I f panicked. All right, sorry if I'm getting saturated. I just had to express emotion. I was thinking of Rubinson, by the way. I don't know. I found out one of our friends who lived nearby explained to him that what just happened as quickly as possible and bless his freaking soul, he saved my life. I asked him if he can stay with them for the remainder of my trip, and he instantly agrees. He immediately calls an ambulance to the house and an Uber for, my, Uber for myself, so I get to his place. I start gathering my shit as fast as I can. I can leave without Hyojin walking me, walking in me packing. Yeah, this is very dark. I mean, these are signs of abuse, like... This is really traumatizing. Hyojin walks in me packing, asking me, what the frick, what am I doing? Before I can answer, they realize that they start crying, that I've already ruined their so-called year, that I'm freaking terrified of them. They run to the bathroom and grab a knife. At first, they pointed at me, then at themselves. I launched to try to disarm them, and they scratched out my arm pretty bad. Yikes. I don't want you getting injuries, Punk Duck. I mean, to be honest, about the scratching up the arm very bad, it's very wrong. Physical violence. I managed to get the knife, but it was at this point. Their mother walked in. She starts screaming at Hyojin, saying they're an attention whore. Abusive f***ing whore? A drama queen? How they always do this. That they're sick in the head, and then she just walks away like she didn't see anything. Love you, woman. The police show up with the ambulance. I tell them what happened, and they take my partner away. I took- I take the Uber to my friend's place. Okay, so I came back from my break, and- Oh, time's running out. All right, I'm gonna make this as quick as I can, cause I'm actually getting and I'm actually getting lazy too. Don't worry, but I'm actually getting lazy. So yeah, I'm getting lazy. So yeah. 
Once at this house, he and his flatmates are trying to get my mind off of shit. At this point, I'm a catatonic. I was lost. I had no idea what my life was going to do in the next couple of days. He urgent texts me, tells me what tells me. I ruined her life. It's, it, it's all my fault that they're going to get a criminal record. It tells me how I don't love them. Okay, um, the love them part is so manipulative. It's just so manipulative. I mean, whatever, but let's just continue. And I apologize. The police let them go with a warning. No, she should have been in jail by now. <laughs> Caught. Oh, yeah. We spent an hour texting Hyojin. No, we spent an hour texting, and Hyojin manages me. managed to convince me that this whole ordeal, ordeal is my fault. Hyojin forces me to pay for an Uber. Then to take them to a place so I'm staying so they I, they can drop the rest of my stuff off. I've forgotten my toothbrush. He always makes me meet them with them outside so I can talk. I pretty much end up for them begging. I'm actually starting. I'm actually messing up my words right now. I'm actually stressed about something. I pretty much end up begging for them to take me back, and they do. We get back together. I even end up helping them write a statement for the police so they don't get a criminal record. I was promised things would get better. <sighs> Forgiving them was the worst mistake of my life. Letting go that basically opened the floodgates of every piece of textbook abuse you can imagine. How the mildest complications means I don't love them. Constantly suicide baiting, telling me if I leave, they'll kill themselves. Okay, so if I had to skip the me moving into the front, yeah, instead of them getting their own words, whatever. I'm just, it's just time's running out. And I'm so, like, I mean, I could read that, but I'm actually stressed about something, like, now I'm looking back. Oh my god, let's just get to, let's just continue. Constantly suicide baiting. Okay, suicide baiting is just so inappropriate. No, I mean, it's so inappropriate of somebody to do that. It's, I mean, it makes people who are actually suicidal look fake. They, I mean, now people like when when someone suicide baits, now you're gonna make the victim, uh, or the people who got Trump. No, no, no. Okay, oh. okay. What I'm trying to say is, I'm so. Okay, uh. Ugh. I can't- I, I have no words. Constantly suicide baiting that- telling them that if I leave, they would kill themselves. That is so inappropriate. Yes, I'm- I'm just stuttering already. I'm just stuttering. This is so messed up. So fricked up. So messed up. And telling me that my friends suck and I should cut them off. Okay, that's just plain manipulation. Now you're cutting the veins of an organism. Like, you're literally cutting the cables that make them be. Like, what I mean by cables is, like, cutting the things. Like, it's just so, like, just just think of your own. I just, and whatever. I'm pretending to some of that I'm the one who hates their friends. Wow, I'm just uh, lost for words. How stupid and manipulative and sociopathic it, this is. <sighs> My favorite thing about that was one of the breakups happened because I had an argument in a Discord server with one of my close friends and I ended the convo on the sour note. Instead of working out privately, Hyoja asked me to berate the other guy. I said no. You guys are adults. I agree. You guys are adults. And calm down. But this is in the past. But so to this day, yeah, I'm still lost for words. Where, where am I at? You should, you should talk privately. Me yelling at the guy would be counter counterproductive. When I kept declining after Hyoji insisted, they broke up with me. They would do the classic move, using my insecurities against me. From me using my car accent to belittle me in public servers with paper I barely knew. Using, your, using someone's insecurities in a public server full of random people, like strangers? Like blasting their insecurities? It's just so sociopathic. Like, you're really embarrassing them. This is so embarrassing. Like, how does it feel now getting embarrassed? Bitch. But we're not done yet. Oh, yeah. 
or bring up friends of mine who passed away to get a rise out of me during arguments. Incredibly normal behavior. Okay, the yeah, the rising using dead people to get a rise out of someone is sociopathic too. And for the last year of our relationship, Hyojin would constantly remind me that reconnecting with old friends who had moved back to Belgium was making them fall in love, fall out of love with me since we're spending every waking day together on Discord and they get mad at me whenever I tell them what me and my friends got up to that day. For all of 2021, I was basically looking for a way out, and I couldn't break up with them because they were somehow needed against me. They are very indi incredibly addictive. For example, that guy I signed up during New Year's. I shortly after New Year's incident of him and Hyojin stopped being friends. Because of this, Say Hyojin similar any time they hear sort of similar any time that they hear hear any uh, sort of negative news about the guy was looking forward to hear more saying shit along the lines of hoping they regret the day they crossed squizzy hyogen or uh, hyogen etc okay that's so messed up i mean i bet this i bet this woman wants somebody to die that's what i'm getting that's what i'm picking up <sighs> I was also afraid of what Hyojin would do to themselves if I broke up to them with honest reasons. So I waited for th something to happen that would let me go in things in a way that seemed mutual. COVID was a freaking god. Uh, no, I'm not gonna say it, but. Um, send. COVID send in that regard finally gave me a way out I needed. Telling them that we should break up because it's getting harder and harder for us to see each other. We didn't talk for a month until to let emotions settle. We got back in touch afterwards and it was fun until they asked me to not speak to them again because their new partner was wasn't comfortable with them talking to their ex, I obliged. <sighs> Cheating. Cheating? What? Alright, ex Gay Yeah, I'm just saying one of the things. We got back we got back in a couple months later and even joined the Discord server with a lot of my close friends, but the more I reflected on my experience, the more terrified I was have to do some to the more terrified I was have to have them close to me. So I politely asked them to leave. They sent thinly veiled threats my way and removed me on everything. A week later, they found out I've been t I've I had started telling my close friends everything you just read. They got mad at me one last time, calling comment behavior childish, and attempted to convince me I was never abused in the first place. I told them off, and here we are. Okay, ta calling someone childish because they got abuse. That's just so childish of the abuser itself. That is so childish of Hyojin herself. <sighs> and I know I'm being childish, but this is so angry. And I mess up my words again. Dang it. Ah. Alright. That about covers it. I kept this in for so long because I was afraid of what they would do to themselves if people found out. They constantly told me, especially after the New Year's event, that people found out about this, they would kill themselves. Suicide baiting. My brain will go for so long covering my for my abuser. I was getting real real tired of lying to my friends. Now I brought it up to Hyojin directly and they apologized to me and reassured me that they're seeking help. While it's so calmly nice here, I'm having a hard time believing them since. Trust issues? I mean trauma or tra abuse and trauma gives trust issues from the abuser the victim and abuser we never i mean they can't trust each other anymore the abuser is literally powering over the victim but yes but you know this is an actual liar this is a sociopath this is a lot of things to go over this is a lot and I'm searching up symptoms, or I mean not symptoms, I meant like symptoms, yeah symptoms, sorry, symptoms, and and they're like a lot, they're literally like antisocial behavior, deceitfulness, hostility, irresponsibility, manipulative, risk-taking behavior, aggression, impulsivity, irritability, or lack of restraint, mood, anger, boredom, or general discontent, and 
Yeah. Yeah, they're very sociopathic. Yeah. Man. Alright, time for Hyojin's apology. Ed, I want you to know I'm that I'm sorry. I've been going to therapy for a bit, and I'm still on that journey. I've seen progress in myself, but I still want to push for more of a change. Okay, but the therapy part. I think the therapy part, the therapy part is just lies. We all, I think we all know that she's going to do more than that. Like, she's going to do more bad things, but... Ugh. Look, I'm just assuming that she's gonna do it. She's just, she's just fake apologizing. She, you're just apologizing because you just got caught. You've been exposed. You're apologizing because you're exposed. You got exposed. And you're not sorry. I know you're not. If you're an abuser, I don't forgive you and you are not sorry. And I'm not sorry to say that. But I'm not done reading this. I'm going to therapy. And let's see. I'm sorry for not making that change earlier. Lies? I would have prevented so much pain I caused. I'm sorry, Ed. Had, I'm sorry. I had, had every right to post about this. Victims are allowed to talk about their abusers, especially the, if it helped with the healing process. I am not saying this would fix everything of the healing, of course. I just know it will be posted. This is all completely fair and justified. I felt like my private apology. To Ed was sincere, but I get why it didn't come across that way and snap my snap reaction was just me being a I'm not gonna say that word. There's nothing I can do to undo the things I've done and I've disappointed anger and second people. Yes, you did. You did anger, disappointed and second people. You are right about that. <sighs> With that word I've done. I'm sorry I don't want to do this again. No, you will do this again. And you're not sorry, and I'm not forgiving you. I mean, I mean, I don't, I mean, I know I'm not punk, but if I was punk, I wouldn't forgive you. And, uh, yeah. I look at the person I was a couple years ago, even if I have changed. Those were my actions, and I understand that, that this is deserved. Actions have repercussions, and every bad decision I've made has hurt people. I know n that no matter what, how much I change in the future, I'll still be the person in the people's eyes. You're correct. You will be that person in my eyes forever. You're. I'm sorry for that. That there isn't more that I can say other than I'm sorry. I'm gonna reflect on this for a long time and take a very very long break. I'm not gonna come back until I'm better. No, you're still gonna be on this platform. I know. I'm assuming you're still gonna be on platform doing bad things. And you think you're not gonna take a, you're gonna take a long break when you're in fact not. And there's like posted of her going to psych ward, but I'm still not believing it. I still don't believe that you're gonna better yourself. I think I I'm starting to think that you're actually gonna worsen yourself. And comment down with opinions below because I don't forgive this person. Forgiveness is invalid for this person. And also. We're, I'm going to make another video on alle other allegations. So I'll see you later and bye.